Cool. So he's got four Missouri turbines. All tilt up towers. Awesome. Here at Bob Anderson's house in Missouri. He's got four of our wind turbines and they're all on tilt-up towers. Which is pretty cool. He uses a hand crank to get them up and down. Give you a little close up of the bases he built. There's the hand crank. Pretty neat. He's got flexible conduit on each one of them, and it goes underground. There's the solar panels. He got all the solar panels and wind turbines from us. Those are 220 watt panels. There's the hand crank. Lets it up and down. Pretty neat. There it goes, she just took off. It's tracking really nice, but I'm gonna take them down and grease all of these. Okay. Blades turning, spinning, watch. They they'll stop turning, the tail will go down. You guys wonder how you shut them off when you're taking them down. I said, well automatically when you're taking them down, the weight of the tail drops and shuts them right off. You can do that one handed, can't you? Now we're going to grease up the uh, mounting bracket. Okay. It's pretty free. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Turn it up. I'm going to loosen this one. Yeah, now now we'll put grease right there. Right there, we'll slide that down. I can do it. Stupid camera. Now what if you want? Just a little grease on there. Now nah, it spins free. That's what they should have. You need some grease on it, not dry. Okay, now we're gonna take it back up. Okay, take it up. See how smooth that works? Now to do it.
There you go. Nothing to her. We'll just go ahead and put the guy wires back on. She's ready to go. These are the turnbuckles here on the guy wires. You don't want to have hooked buckles. You need them solid like these. No hoops in them. Or no hook. Cable can come out of those. There's the handle. You pull this pin. Just pull it straight out and then you can go ahead and reel it down. Got a simple pulley welded to the base right there. The idea how big this is. Base is quarter inch. All the wind turbine wire runs on the ground, goes in this plastic weather type box. All the connections are in here and just runs on the ground. Oh. Okay, runs this trench all the way up to the building. Okay, we got all the brake switches, they're all in. Mount out of the wall. Looks really nice. Right here we're going to put those rectifiers and get some metal plates. There we go. We're all done. Just a little bit more wire and we're finished. But that's what a dual outback system looks like. The bottom right corner is the hub and that little oval white box is the mate. You have to have those when you're using two Outback converters, synchronize them together. Over here, it's an all-in-one charge controller board, I'm using that for the wind turbines. These are the brake switches for the wind turbines. And we mounted the uh, rectifiers on metal plates, get them off the wall. Anyway, that's what a system looks like.